Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Adam here with Indy Farm Life. Spring has sprung. Can't you tell? Look at this. Beautiful. I'm going to jump in the pond before too long. Uh, officially it's spring, but still pretty gross out. Still Indiana, so I'm not that surprised. I'm out at the barn milling around a little bit. Just had to get out of the house and get some fresh air. And it's springtime, guys, so let's get the mower going. So if you've hopped around our channel a little bit, you probably realize that Chris and I have a soft spot for grasshopper lawn mowers which he and I both believe are the best lawn mower ever made so I'm gonna start mine up hopefully it's been sitting out here in the barn and storage for I don't know how many months six months seven months um, all tarped up and just got the battery charged Let's see if we can't fire this thing up you guys ready for the unveiling Pull back the genuine Harbor Freight tarp right here. And reveal a. I don't know what year this is. I had two of these at one point. Uh, I think it's 2001 Grasshopper 721D. The D standing for diesel, which equates to black smoke, which is awesome. As you can see, my barn is highly, highly organized. And I'm not taking this grass up back to my house today. Just wanted to get out of the house, fire it up, take it for a spin around the pond. I mentioned that Chris and I really love these grasshopper mowers, but we haven't got Nick to convert over just yet. I don't know if that's ever going to happen. I mean, he's got a John Deere, which, all right, it's a deer. You know, we love our deers around here. Deers. Ha. Not the poor little deer. Um, but yeah, so maybe one day we can get Nick to come over to the dark side with us. Gloves are nothing but an inhibitor sometimes. Look at that, I guessed right. Even a blind squirrel finds a nut once in a while. That door just shut on me. So I said we really love these lawnmowers. And you know, there's multiple variants of grasshopper lawnmowers, but particularly we like the diesel because, well, it's diesel. It burns way less fuel than gas models do. And additionally, we like them because of the front mount deck. The front mount deck on these things is amazing because you can take it up under bushes and fences and anything where you have tight spaces you're working in can really cut down on your trimming. Another nice thing is having the deck out front and just the overall length of these things. These things are incredibly stable and you can go on some pretty steep grades with them and not have that feeling that you're going to you know, roll it. Plus the deck out front, it flexes up and down when you uh, encounter a, an incline or whatnot so you're not scalping. These are all things you can read online. This thing has glow plugs. Well, it has a uh, glow plug position in the ignition. I've never actually tested to see if they work, and I don't know that they actually do on this one. Um, the other grasshopper I had at one point, though, I had 5W40 in it instead of this 1540 in this one. It's amazing when you get that weight of oil for the lower temperatures, how, uh, how much a difference it makes in starting. have this really bad feeling I'll have to get the tractor back in here to jump this thing. But if it does fire up, we're gonna take it out for a little spin. Maybe I will show you guys on the edge of the pond how this deck flexes up. is old this is a 2001 or 2002 like I said so um, not brand new by any stretch and brand new these things are pricey I mean you can see them for anywhere from twelve to eighteen thousand dollars 
I was looking to see if the year's marked on here, just the serial number. But yeah, like I said, twelve to $18,000 for something new. This is used, it's got 1,300 hours on it, and Chris actually got 11,000 hours of a gas model of one of these, so this being the Kubota three liter diesel, or three cylinder diesel, it's got some life in it. Let's go for a spin. I realize that no one's probably gonna go out there and buy one of these simply because of this video, but this one was 3,800 bucks, something like that. You go, you compare that to going out and buying a new Skag or something, or even a walk behind Skag, 61 inch deck, can cut a lot of grass. Chris's is a 928D. I think it has more horsepower than Nick's uh, two series tractor. Just saying. Here in the cockpit, you uh, can put a cooler full of beer right out here if you want, or just, you know, kind of lazy boy it. Here's what I wanted to show you guys about the, you get the idea about how this flexes. So if you were to be mowing out here along the side of the pond, as the tractor starts to come up the incline, the deck and the tractor will pivot right here. And so the deck will stay on the plane you're mowing and you won't scalp like you would on a normal zero turn. It's pretty impressive. So is that pond. We'll go out here by some of these uh, Bradford pear trees and I'll show you guys the other benefit I was talking about on these things. Right there you guys can kind of see how I can scoot the front of this mower up underneath those Bradford pears. Even now I've got sticks kind of still in my face but I was able to get up underneath the trunk of those trees or close to the trunk of those trees. Now they do all need to be trimmed up a little bit but uh, that would have been a pain on a zero turn with the deck being underneath you. You never would have got in there. And obviously I need to trim up underneath all these a lot more on the north end of this pond but um, there's going to be a lot to mow around out here and if I can limit the amount of trimming I mean, this isn't going to be fancy. I don't need a trim, I guess, even if I uh, didn't have this mower. But it'll make it look a whole lot nicer being able to cut up underneath these trees without having to get off and trim around them with a weed eater. Sound like a job for Nick or Chris if we need to do it. So yeah guys, not a lot in that video, just kind of my quick endorsement of Grasshopper Lawn Mowers, specifically the diesel versions with the deck out front, and there's a variety of them out there. Like I said, this is a 721D 2001 or 2, uh, Chris's is a 928D. Now if we can just get Nick to buy a Grasshopper 2, then I think you can confidently say that we are pretty convincing with our story about Grasshoppers and why we love them. But this particular one, you got the wide stance, low center of gravity, and these bar tires can get you through some pr pretty soft spots. Might tear up your turf a little bit here and there if you don't kind of finesse it just the way you need to. But mowing stuff out here like this works really well on soft ground. The flip up deck is nice. You can get underneath there, scrape, it just pops up and you can access your blades, even sharpen right there if you want to. And uh, just overall, well built machines, commercial grade. You buy them used you can get into them for pretty cheap so if you're in the market for a new mower i'd say check out grasshopper if you haven't already and if you happen to be a diehard grasshopper enthusiast like chris and i are 
comment below how long you had yours. Have, has anyone put more than 12,000 hours on one? Like I said, Chris put 11,000 on, uh, on a gas model. It was a Kohler gas model, so I'd be curious to hear some experiences from all you guys about your uh, grasshoppers. I am going to go cut grass or cut dead stuff that doesn't really need to be cut because I got spring fever, I'm tired of being inside, and this is what I want to do today. Hit that subscribe button, come back and see us. Many more videos on the way. Spring is finally sprung. You can tell how beautiful it is out here, so be getting after it before too awful long, and see you guys around the channel. Take care.